Hey everyone, so through the years of Bloxburg, we have seen many glitches and money hacks, and now there is Lemon Tree Farms, and let's see why they are perfectly fine. <laughs> So with other hacks people used to do, there was usually a glitch or a system that helped them get to that. And with money tree farms, mo money tree, since when do we have money? Oh my goodness. I mean, with lemon tree farms or orange tree farms, it is quite different because it is a part of the game. Now, did Queptus expect that to happen? I don't think he did, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think he thought lemon tree farms would get so big and like get so much um, players to actually use them and that probably was not the intended gameplay but it is part of the game and a lot of people do have lemon tree farms i don't actually know how far i can go before my sprinkler does not water my plants anymore so a lot of people do have lemon tree farms and the reason that the money does not get removed from them i am completely doing this wrongly by the way so don't copy that because if i place lemon tree farms i just place a bunch of trees inside each other but the reason that lemon trees are okay is because they are part of the game. They were intended to give you money. And Quebus probably knew that some people would exploit that and would get a lot more lemon trees than expected. And when the lemon tree- wow, this is so ugly. Do not copy this. Like, I'm telling you now. So the reason that he kept it in game was because gardening was a long time coming and he probably knew some people would exploit that and make use of that. But still it is part of the game and other glitches are usually not part of the game or not intended as part of the gameplay. For example, duping stuff or using a program that gives you extra money or stuff like that is not intended gameplay while lemon trees and orange trees are intended gameplay. However, they did nerf it a little bit because you used to get 338 for each lemon tree you had and now the more trees you have the less money you make off of them so right now all of the trees I placed I can only get 307 back if I place more trees let's actually go back in build mode if I place more trees than that my income will be lower for each trees so you need to find your golden ratio or whatever for you because the more trees you have the less less each tree will make. So definitely think about how time consuming it is and how you want to play it. So for example, I added one, two, three, four, five, seven trees more and my income already lowered with $25 for each tree. So definitely keep that in mind. You only want to keep, for example, 15 to 20 trees now because otherwise it's just going to be a time consuming thing, which will make it easier to actually make more money from working than it is from harvesting lemon trees. So you definitely need to keep that in mind as well. So let me remove some trees again. This video is going to be quite costly, but yes. So let's keep it down to a minimum of, let's say, 20 trees for now. So I got a row of five. Yeah, let's start with 20 or 25 trees. I don't actually know how many trees I have right now. So right now I added five rows of five trees each, which means that there are 25 lemon trees on my plot. Normally you get 338 for each lemon tree. With 25 trees, you still get 338. So that means you can get a little bit more. So let's do some quick math here. <laughs> So if you harvest these 25 trees, you will get $8,450. Let's go to 30. So right now there are 30 trees on my plot. Let's see how much I make for each tree. Now I make $307, which means if I harvest them, I make $9,210 for doing that. Let's go to 35. And as you can see, it will take a little bit more time to harvest all of it now because I am having more trees. And you need to keep that in mind as well. Is the time weighing out the amount of money you get for each tree? So this is strange, but I now have 35 trees and I make 338 for each tree. I do not know how that happened. But oh well, 35 trees. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on here. Which means I make 11,830 for harvesting all of this. But I really don't know what's going on. Um, it's still on 338, so I, I don't know what I did there. Let's go to 40 this time. And let's see if it's still at 338, because that 307 was quite weird at 30. But then we have 35 trees, and it goes back to 338, which is... I don't know, this is strange. So now we have 30, no, we have 40 trees. Yes, we have 40 trees now. Let's see how much we make for each tree. Back to 307. I don't know why it's doing that, to be honest. 
So if we harvest these 40 trees, we will get $12,280. And now I'm just gonna go to 50 and then I'll stop. But normally, I say normally because something weird happened here, your income gets lower with more trees. So um, you have to keep that in mind as well. Okay, so now we have 50 trees. Let's see how much we will get from each tree. If it says 338, I really don't know. Okay, so now we get 282. This seems more normal, which means we would get 14,100 for each harvest. So while they are perfectly legal to do in the game, your income becomes lower with the more trees you have. That didn't used to be the case back in the day when it first got discovered because um, I remember having a lot of lemon trees and just harvesting them at 338 but then they nerfed it and now it's like this and yes and so yes it takes more time for only just a little bit more income than what you would have with less trees so I would say the golden radio is about 30 trees and then you work on top of that so don't really see the lemon tree farms as your main income I think if you have 700 lemon trees that you get like $80,000 per harvest, which is a lot, yes, but you are spending like half an hour to harvest all of the trees. You need a lot of garden sprinklers and stuff like that. So definitely keep that in mind. I would suggest like going for max 30 and then work on top of that if you want to do the lemon tree farm thing. So lemon tree farms, orange tree farms, doesn't matter which one you pick, they will all gradually go down the more trees you have. So they are legal because it's part of the game, although it can be annoying for some people People who worked for their money but now as you can see the income goes gradually lower and still better to work but this is a nice addition to working so if you work for two hours you can go home pick up your lemons grow new ones and go back to work it's an extra income on top of what you already earn and it's perfect for people who don't have the excellent employee game pass. Now with that said, you need to keep in mind to keep all of your trees watered. You can either do it manually or by adding garden sprinklers, but you need block bucks for the garden sprinkler. So that's the thing as well. So uh, yes, it did get nerfed quite a bit, but it is still a nice income source and you really barely have to do anything for it, especially if you have a low amount of trees. But as I said, it goes down quite fast. If you have 700 trees, I think it's like $90 per tree that you get so it does go down quite a lot like that but this is the reason why lemon tree farms are perfectly okay they are part of the game not a glitch not a program you have to install so they are meant to be part of the game how you use them is up to you. Now that was it for today. I hope this video helped explain that a little bit better so you will not get banned. If you have a lemon tree farm, the money will also not get removed, does not get counted as glitched money. So if you do that, you will be perfectly fine by doing it earning money from it and if you role play a lot you can just have some trees in the back of your garden and you don't even have to go to work to pay the bills so if you only use it for bills and cooking this will be more than sufficient if you just want to stay at home a lot so perfect for role players perfect for people without excellent employee and a nice extra income for people who do have it now that was it for today thank you so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe